Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy, happy Friday. I just wanted to show you something. I have a neighbor who knits, and she knew I needed a mask. Oh, I'll put you up a little bit. And this is my neighbor across the street. Her name is Becca, and she knits. And she knew I needed a mask and because she knew I was sick, right? So this is what happens when you have a neighbor who knits you a mask. Yeah? <laughs> I love her to death. And she knew my personality. I thought that was brilliant. <laughs> oh, okay. The love I get from my friends. Okay. I just thought I'd show that off. All right. Here we go. I have another little mini lesson about card readings and how the readers work. Okay. Now, this is just based off of all of the things I know and, and I have been taught. We're going to use Mother Nature as source. This is source. And this is, of course, the, the human being the human being. Okay. So anybody, this is my ghost deck that I used in my past uh, videos with, uh, with Fauci and all of that. And my haunted deck, which I use almost every time with uh, 45. And then I also have been using my energy Oracle cards. I have lots of Oracle cards, lots of them. But this one seems to be one of my favorites that I, I have. I always have that go-to uh, cards to go to. So anyways, human being. So anybody can go purchase cards. Everybody, right? Everybody can go purchase a card. Everybody could draw a card from that deck and lay it down. There's books that come with each one of those, and then they can open up the book and they can go and read what it means. Everybody can do that. Everybody can memorize, you know, each card and know what each meaning is as you go through. And you can do those type of readings, and which is perfectly fine, which is perfectly fine. You can do all of those type of readings. Okay, so that's the basics. Now, people are not drawn to cards unless something is activated inside of them. Now, there's a, since there's an activation already drawn to uh, cards, the thing is, is that a lot of, um, how, how can I put this? If you stop at just the basics and just reading the cards and, and memorizing the information on the cards, you kind of miss out. You know, everybody can do that. That's kind of basic. That's normal. But what happens when a human being starts doing some energy work? Um, we have, I have a representation of past lives. Right, I have gone through how many past lives I have I have uh, been through, and the reason why is because something was activated in me a long, 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 long time ago that I knew that there was something there that I needed to investigate in my soul. And now, a lot of people have that and just shove it aside and go on with their day for the rest of their lives, and they die without act without investigating that activation in their soul. I had um, a little bit of traumas going on in my life and my activation in my soul got so much that I had to figure out how to walk through it w without all the, the chaos and the pain. So I started looking for my, one of the things I, I noticed about myself is I felt like I have already been here. So I started in looking at how many times I've been here. I've been here quite a few times, lots of times. There's also another thing that, that I had, um, somebody uh, cleared my chakras. I'm not a chakra guru, but I did go to a guru who cleared my chakras and, and gave me a whole bunch of information that I needed to do as homework to, to clear my body of all of that stuff. Now, so I, after I was doing all of that, things started to activate. So each level, I started to get more and more information. I started to get more and more closer to source right? More and more closer. So I could still do the cards and read them and understand that. And I was more open to the knowledge of them and the importance of them. But I really wasn't picking up a card, grasping what spirit has to say about it and wanting it to give me a deeper reader. I can tell you what this card means, but a reader who has done the work can tell you what the feels like and get more in depth into uh, the information about the card, about that person. So I was like, okay, so what happened was 
I then um, started to figure out that I needed to talk to my guides and I'm going to use this little bag of cute little soap as guides. I'm pretty sure that I'm back down to just one, but I had many back then. I'm pretty sure they got they were pretty exhausted with me. But I started to activate and find out what my guides and who was there and started talking to them. Now that was a lot of work. It was not easy. It's not for the weak hearted to get to the point where you can get in there and clear yourself enough to talk to your guides, you see. Because my guides are directly related to source. And it's a, it's a direct line from source to here, from source to my guides to me. So I started to get to know them. I did a lot of work and get to know them and investigate and remember to ask for help and go in and, and do all of that. So I started with, you know, past lives. I've been here for a very long time. That means something has activated inside of me, you know, and, and I started to clear my uh, body of all negative uh, dealings and, and get clear and, and inside of me um, okay and, and I started talking with my guides so now at this point I started talking with my guides and all of a sudden my guides were giving me flooded information flooded information and I wanted to know what the um, flooded information was coming from because I'm that analytical part type of person so that was wonderful I started getting my guides I started picking up a card I would ask my guides what did this mean what's going on how much inf you know and, and stuff like that so then I started doing work in the Akashic area I was gonna get out a card but this will do the Akashic the Akashic is the universe information past present and possibly future if um, they can only tell you what is going to line up and the possibilities of this happening and this happening and this happening this is the possibilities if they if that course is um, on course and then nothing changes this is a, a psychic where psychics grab their information from. So now that I have um, learned about my past lives, I've been here, I have plenty of experience, I have something activated in my soul. Once I got here, I cleared all the negativity out and cleared out my body, and now I'm talking to my guides, and my guides have access to Source, and so in between what's going on with Source, Source is right here, and all of the information, anything that's ever, ever happened in life, ever, ever on this universe, ever, is up here in the Akashic Records. And now I have a conduit to tap into it. All I have to do is ask. So now that I have my, my, my guides and, and going in through here, these cards have brought forth a 10 times more meaning. I can now ask my guides to tell me a little bit more about what's going on. And I can get that. Now here's mediumship. Right? I am a I am a human being who has done the work. Now I've got my guides. Now I'm attached to the Akashic Records and now my mediumship. Now I'm at the point where I can get into and talk to anybody or tap into anybody's energy, past um, or present, or you know, even babies in the womb. I can talk I can tap into that. And this is another source. So my guides, my source, and then it's tapped in. Everything is related to source. And then we have which I am not. Ascendant Masters. Ascendant Masters have the gift of all of it, every single one of it, and they come in sometimes with it already, the knowing already, they've been here long enough. So the Ascendant Masters can do it all, and there are the ones that you see like um, Bernard, I can't, uh, oh gosh, I can't think of his name, Bernard Beckwith, Bernard Beckwith, an Ascendant Master. I completely and truly believe that Jesus Christ was an Ascendant Master. Uh, he was down here doing doing the work and he had been here and he had, you know, come down with it already activated, everything already activated. You see, I came down with, with an activation knowing that there was something up and I started with my journey and cleared that and now I have guides and now I'm moving on to here. Ascendant Master, I may never be on this time in this earth because I may have to come back for that. I do know that I do not have a, a lifeline. I have been told many a times that I chose to come down here to, to help with my children and whoever's coming. Now I have a grandchild that she was sitting, she was sitting at my, um, at, at, in my kitchen and she was sitting down. She was maybe six or seven years old and she looks up at me and she says, Grandma, can I feel what my mommy is feeling? Because her mother was going through some stuff. 
And I looked up at her and she's like six or seven, I think, maybe seven. And I said, absolutely, you can do that. And she was telling me how her mother was feeling that day and how upset she was. So I know that uh, I am connected to my children and to my grandchildren and I'm here to help them once they have realized their activation. So this is what I, all of the tools of the trade become more powerful and how we can tap into more information and the feelings and how it goes. So my, my cards, my oracle cards, uh, my pendulum, all of that is done literally from source and my guides. And all of that, all I have to do is ask. And I have a direct source to all of that. And, and, it's, and, and it's hard to do when you have so much negativity. It's really hard to do when you're, you know, you have uh, your, you know, alcohol or, or drug abuse. It's really hard to do that. It's really hard when you're so angry. It's really hard, you know, it, it doesn't mean you can't get there. It just makes it really hard one, if you do not go through this clearing step. Clearing of your chakras and the, and the Reiki energy that is there. Those are some of the best healers out there. Seek them, go find them today um, to get yourself cleared up so that you can also tap into your, your spirit guides and possibly into the Akashic, you know, all of that. And then mediumship, I have my mediumship and, and all of that is there and I am working towards that. It will come to fruition um, soon. And, but I still, you know, if, if I'm not doing the forward work, I'm never going to get here. And that has been my experience. So I hope all of that helped. I know that was 10 minutes of a, a lesson you may or may not have wanted. But so you, can, you guys kind of know when you, when you find a reader who has activated and, and walked through the steps and gone through. And ego is a huge deterrent in this, in this realm. If you, you know, your ego says a uh, says that you know somebody else is better or somebody you know or you know anything like that your ego can really really hinder you from any work that you may or may not want to do now i know that you guys are activated because you're watching me you see what i mean everybody that that is watching me and is interested in what i'm saying you're already activated that you know that there's something different, there's something else, and there's something to work for. So, all right, so that's wonderful. And now somebody wanted, I'm gonna get into reading the cards. Somebody wanted me to do that lady Burke. Is that Burke? Is that her name? You know, the other scientist lady uh, that that has apparently um, started licking 45's ass. But, sorry, no cussing. She's lining up, but I had a dream about her when somebody asked me to go into her. This is my dream is that she sees him as a child. No stretch of the imagination there. But she literally sees her herself as somebody who, who needs to nurture and take care of him. She has that mothering, nurturing activation in her. And, and it has been activated with, with 45. And she feels, she feels mother compassion for him. So there... It explains a lot as to the reason why she just um, cannot say anything bad. You know, all mothers, even if their child is horrible, well, not all of them, apparently not Trump's, but most mothers, you know, they just want to be there to help. And I think that's where she is coming from. But let's see. She, I think she has crossed that line. I really do. I think she has crossed that line into uh, the point of no return. You know, at one point in time, she's got to pull back and realize he is not a child and she is an adult. And she has she has to make different choices for her career. All right, let's pull Burke. Is it Burke? Somebody will, I'm sure, correct me. And I know this. I need to put my glasses on. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups, which makes sense. Um, she was a gift, you know, a pathy a feeling, unfiltered. She was the gift. That is her. That is her core. What represents for her, but what over, comes over her is the hanged man. Yep, she, the hanged man. So she is caught up. She's all caught up in the whirlwind, and I gotta remember my karma is over here. Um, all caught up into the whirlwind and things like that of the whole situation. 
what did she come in with on the two of pentacles well that's interesting she came in with uh, multitasking she came in with multitasking and um, choices she came into the situation with choices this right here is uh, the eight of cups so we have the we have the eight of cups which is um, retreat <laughs> moving on she has thought about that that's what's above her that's what I think she really wants to move on that's interesting that surprised me that she above her what her thinking is is she wants to move on and retreat and get out of it hmm, maybe we're, we're assessing her wrong okay so this one right here is the six of the six of swords uh, she need she needs to move on quick because the six of uh, swords is um, transition relocating and moving then it's necessary for her to get out of there so she she's gonna she's gonna have to move out of there quickly what's ahead of her is she going to be able to get out the six of cups interesting the the six of the six of cups is innocence and reunion so she may may not get out of there maybe she's going to go back to her old job as a reunion interesting all right so let's see what we got let's see what adds to it the eight of pentacles the eight of pen the eight of pentacles is enjoying your employment she did before she got into it she enjoyed her her career and her employment what is this one this one here is the five of swords but see the six of, and the um, eight of cups you know she's wanting to relocate and then we have the five of swords and what that means is it's starting to be an abusive relationship an abusive relationship is five of swords What's below? We have the Page of Wands. The creative idea. That's what's below. She has to creatively try to figure out how to get out of there. No? One last card. Do you get out? King of Cups. Tolerance and Empathy. Well, we knew that she has tolerance and empathy. She might have to have she might have to tolerate it. She's tolerating it. She might have to tolerate it. She may not get out, people. Let's draw some energy cards and see what kind of energy is around her. See if any angels are gonna help her out. Which ones are gonna help her out? Because she has um, empathy. She she came in loving her job. Now it's becoming abusive and and she wants out, but she may not. The angel of strength is showing up for her. The, the third chakra, like I said, I'm not a chakra guru. So the third chakra is self circuit, thought, um, perfection, um, beliefs, details. Hmm. Maybe the angel of an action. Oh, maybe she does get out. She has action. Angel of action. So her beliefs and all of that are being compromised. Her beliefs. So her strength, she needs, she's angel of strength is going to show up for her. I really <clears throat> feel like she's one of those wonderful mothers that will, if you come over to her house, she'll bake you cookies. I really do. I feel like she's that type, but highly intelligent. And she would love to sit down and have a discussion of science with you while you eat your cookies and, and milk yeah i feel i feel that she's just she's really in pain she doesn't know what to do she's not one of the bad ones i don't think she may if she leaves she may be turned into one of the bad ones because that's what um that's what the republicans do all right peoples let's do mr 45 and then we can get on with our day huh do Mr. 45 and see where Mr. 45 is at. And these are my these are my haunted deck for him, which is this guy. Boo! Haunted deck. Let's see where he's at today. I think uh, yesterday that that guy testifying. 
<laughs> you know, he did a really good job. Uh, I could only watch a little bit of it, to be honest with you. I, I was only able to jump in a little bit because, you know, the the Republican side that started to ask him questions, they, they just, what the process, we didn't get the information. They didn't do this right. They're not fair to us. You know what I mean? They're trying to get down that. It's like, we've been there, done that with the impeachment. Please, please, it didn't work. Please don't start again. Okay. Remember, yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Here we go. Oh, gosh, that card. That this card irritates the crap out of me when it shows up. And I and I think it's because it's not really a huge representation of what we know. But the Knight of Cups. Prince Charming, Romance, and Proposal. Prince Charming, Romance, the Knight of Cups. Prince Charming, Romance, and po Proposal. We'll see what else comes with that one. Oh, yeah. Four of Swords. The Four of Swords. You know, this Four of Swords has a lot of meetings and other decks. This one here, with 45, is the Virus creeping up onto human beings. That's today. Oh yeah, seven of pentacles. Worry, 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 contemplation, worry, worry, contemplation. That's tomorrow. All right, let's see what we got. What is with this romance? Ooh, all tied up with the romance and proposal. All tied up. Mm. And this one is, this one's a six of the gift, the gift. So we have the coronavirus and the gift. Did Trump get sick? The brainstorm, is Trump sick? Transition, relocating and moving out of the spotlight, worry. Uh-oh. Did Trump get sick? Did he catch it? Or is he worried about catching it? There's two ways of looking at this. Did he catch it or is he worried about catching it? Uh-oh. Let's see. I don't know. Here's another gift, uh, you know, pregnancy, a gift. With all tied up. So here's the, the feisty person. Self-assurance. That's the reason why he possibly has been exposed or caught it. It was because he was feisty and, and confident that he wouldn't. Oh yeah, his gluttony got in the way. And his gluttony got in the way. I don't know. This see, this kind of is sounding like, like Trump got, is getting sick or was ex, was exposed, and he's worried about being sick. Hmm. All right. Let's see what kind of energy my oracle cards say about this guy. See what what is showing up. Now these cards are bringing him out, not to act like the angels are for him. Their angels are for knowledge, and what what are we gonna find out? Because I almost, there's no helping 45. You know, the angels and, 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 and source can do all they want, but there's really no helping him. So we're here to save our souls, to save us. The door to spirit. Strategy. And what is that one? The seventh um, chakra. Let's see what the seventh chakra. The seventh chakra is um, uh, a harmonious, peaceful attachment, spirit, love attachment. These are very confusing today, but I have a feeling that this illness 
is a part of his life more than he's letting on. I think we might find out a little. Nothing says that we're going to know, but it does sound like that. It sounds like um, the illness has got him or he's worried about getting it because he was exposed. Hmm. All right, everybody. I'll talk to you later. Happy Friday. I will see you probably Sunday. I usually take Saturday off. So thanks.